Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth. We're going to create a grounding cord that's very strong and fortifying and nurturing. And we're going to take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor ourselves to Mother Earth, to ourselves, to our essence. to who we are, releasing everything that no longer serves us, letting go of the past, take a nice big deep breath, hmm. letting go of the future, take a nice big deep breath. Let's say hello to the here and now. Come into present time. And now about two feet out, all the way around you, create a circle of light. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit. Where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. A circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself in the outside world. And a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy and your own light. Everything goes on the outside of your space, your weekend, the week before, your loved ones, your furry animals, your coworkers, everything goes on the outside of your space. This is the time to claim you. Say in your mind, I claim my own energy. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. Let's come up to your sixth chakra, which is right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're gonna create your movie screen. And say hello to your life today on your movie screen. Say hello to your opportunities you're not even aware of, ones that you might be. And let's allow the highest good to come forward and to manifest. Say hello to your challenges. Can you become more neutral to your challenges? Can you have fun with your challenges? Say hello to your blessings. What blessings do you have in your life? Can you bathe in your blessings? 
Can you refocus your brain this week to focus on your blessings? Now let us check in. Physically, I'd like you to ask yourself, how do I feel physically? Just become aware what's lighting up. Give it a golden light in any disease or discomfort. Mix in green for healing, pink for love. Can you give your body some extra love this week? Loving your body. Your body knows how to heal itself. Giving it that green and golden light. And now let us affirm in our physical body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice big deep breath. And now let's come up to the center of your head. Create a beautiful golden light covering your whole head area. And allow that golden light to get bigger and brighter. Flushing out any fogginess or frenetic energy, any excess anxiety. You're clearing the slate of your mind. And now let us affirm in our mental energies as we are creating a new beginning, a fresh start. I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Once again, I'm opening to a fresh start, a new beginning. And I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your seventh chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly. Moving into that heart space. Once again, let's open up those energy centers. Let's do this very quickly, opening them up all the way to the seventh. And all the way back down to the bottom of your belly. Into your heart space. Say hello to your emotions, your feelings. Just become aware of how you're feeling. Don't try to change it. Just become aware. I feel. You may feel a variety of things, but keep it simple. I feel. Now let us affirm in our emotional body, I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and three things that you'd like to feel. Thank you. 
to have your new beginning. What intentions, energetic emotions do you need to feel for a fresh start? I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and... Take a nice, big, deep breath all the way up to your seventh chakra, right above the head. And let's say hello to your divine self. And let's ask our divine self this week for a fresh start, a new beginning, a rebirth. just like little light sockets, feel yourself plugging in to yourself, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world. And say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected. And now let's ask our higher self for help. Maybe we need fresh eyes on a project we've been working on. Maybe we need to just start all over from scratch. But what is your new beginning? Maybe it's in the thoughts and the self-talk you say to yourself. Maybe it's in a new plan, a new strategy. Whatever it is, ask for guidance. opening up to a fresh start. How can your divine self help you in leading you to new opportunities, new ways of being, and new ways of relating? Take a nice, big, deep breath. Put your hand on your heart. And let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for today. And now let's send some love to somebody who may need it, including yourself.
And now let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming down through that crown chakra. Coming down through your sixth, igniting your intuition this week to open up to that fresh new beginning. As it moves down through your throat chakra, igniting your expression in the world, your authentic true voice. As it moves down through your heart chakra, igniting love, support, and nurturing, and whatever else you need to feel for this new beginning. As that golden light comes down through your solar plexus, manifesting that beautiful fresh start. New beginning. As it moves down through your second, right below the navel, saying hello to the creation energy, creating those new beginnings your next steps as it moves down through your root chakra, the foundation of life at the base of the spine. Say to yourself, love of self, love of self. As it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility, down through your calves, into your feet with your toes say hello to your fun fairies Ooh. as it moves back down into mother earth say to yourself i am ready for my new beginning life is good I am grounded, I am centered, all is well, and everything in my life I can trust is moving forward with ease and grace. Take a nice big deep breath. Oh, release and open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. A new beginning. I love this topic because last week on the lunar eclipse, when we were talking about new beginnings and letting go, Part of how you create a new beginning is you have to be willing to let go of old patterns, the things that no longer serve you. So I'd like you to reflect on your life right now. And I'd like you to think about something that you need to let go of, but not from the perspective of the outside world. What in yourself needs to be released to change, to transform in order for you to move your life forward? So for me, one of the patterns I'm working on is staying in my own lane. So letting go of over responsibility and letting go of other people's pictures, letting go of other people's experiences, jumping into their space and healing them without them asking me to. That seems to be a lifelong lesson that I've been on, but I want to take it to the next step. 
my new beginning and fresh start is to focus on my own life as it relates to me personally, not my coaching, but in my personal life. So I'd like you to look at your own life and ask yourself, what needs to change within you in order for you to have your new beginning? And just take a few minutes, write a couple of notes down. And I want you to use this as a meditation practice this week. You may find that you want to journal a little bit more about the subject. I know I've been spending some time over the last few weeks really looking at that picture, having it be confronted in my own space. So where do you need to release? And what a beautiful time as we move out of Easter is a death and rebirth. It's spring from winter to spring now. The eclipse, the eye. So the key here is all about self-expression. Self-expression in the area of your life. It's not about the outside world. It's not about the we. It's about the I. I create energy. The fire in your belly. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to look at your intentions. We talked about energetic intentions. But what are several intentions that deal with you that you would like to focus on? It might be your project. It might be my job. It might be mending a relationship. It might be healing in a health area. It might be yourself. For example, with me. But I have two areas, I'm three areas that I'm actually working. What is your intention? Be very clear. I intend. Spend a few minutes and write it down. All right, I have more, so I'm going to write more, and I encourage you to use this practice this week. I'm also going to share something with you. I did a training last week on confidence and assertive training with new leaders, and one of the things that was very apparent is that when we ask them the question about what do you want in your next step leadership that you're not getting or you don't feel like you have the voice to get. The answers were very convoluted. They weren't clear. And so then what we did is we did an exercise and we asked them to move into their assertive self, not their passive aggressive self, not their passive self and not their aggressive self. Because sometimes when we want something, we can be aggressive, we can be passive, or we can be passive aggressive. Assertive is the key. And it was really interesting to watch what was going on when they actually opened to be an assertive. They went back, they were using their assertive skills 
And several of them got exactly what they needed and wanted. And you know why? Because they were clear. So I want you to look at your clarity of messages to the universe. Are you giving the universe mixed messages? Passive aggressive. I want this. I don't think it's going to happen. I want this. Oh my gosh, why does this keep happening to me? Positive, clear, assertive, and direct. Be clear with the universe and the universe will be clear with you. Now, if it doesn't come through in the area that you think it should, let it go. It's not your time. It might not be that time with that person, or it just may be a pause or a delay. Tomorrow, Mercury goes into retrograde in Aries as well. So this is a time of, I want to put it out there, intention, but you have to be patient for it to come back right now. Okay. Then the last thing I want you to do for your new beginning is to take action. What do you need to take action on as it relates to your clear intention? Be clear with the universe. The universe will be clear with you. I intend to. A plus B equals C. The C is action. Letting go, clear intentions, action. That will lead you to a new beginning. Even if it's a refined new beginning, a rebirth. That has to do with self. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.